Hi, I'm Lieutenant Doug Nolte, and welcome to this edition of Behind the Badge, your behind-the-scenes look at what's going on in the Wichita Police Department. December typically is a busy shopping month, and we decided that maybe this month we should uh, invite some of the experts in to talk a little bit about shopping safety, uh, not only for yourself, but for how to uh, protect yourself from being a victim of theft. My guest this month is Lieutenant Mike Hennessy. Mike, thanks for being with us. Absolutely. Historically around the holiday time, the larceny section of the police department as well as several of the other property crimes typically are pretty proactive in getting information out to the citizens on how they can protect themselves from being a victim of thefts. What are you guys doing this year? Well, that's correct, correct there, Doug. We have a situation where it seems like every year this time of year we have uh, citizens that, that kind of forget to keep aware of their surroundings. Uh, they're busy and they're doing the holiday season, the Christmas shopping and all that. And, and we see a, sometimes a, a spike in uh, thefts from vehicles, uh, as well as other forms of thefts that involve uh, uh, shoppers uh, not being aware of their surroundings. They tend to lose their electronics, uh, where we're, we're very concerned about individuals losing their uh, cell phones, their iPads and such because of personal information, which uh, down the road can really cause some havoc uh, uh, with the citizens. Okay. Well, this year, I know, uh, as in previous years, you guys have been really proactive in working with media to get the message out. You guys went out to a, a shopping mall here a few weeks ago. Tell us a little bit about why you guys went out to the parking lots and what, what was the goal and do you think you had an impact? Well, recently, uh, we went to uh, one of the malls in town here uh, with some of the officers and detectives. Uh, and just, just to get the word out and to remind uh, shoppers that to be aware of what's going on around them and to watch their property, especially when they're trying to buy Christmas gifts and they just throw them in the car in plain sight. Uh, we're out there uh, reminding the people that uh, the, the thieves are out there in full force, especially during the holiday season. And while they're in the parking lot, they seem to blend in, but what they're really doing is looking for an easy mark. We try to get out there from time to time, uh, locations such as the local malls, to remind the citizens to uh, uh, be aware of their surroundings and to uh, watch for people in the parking lot that seem suspicious. And it only takes a minute or less for, uh, for someone to break a window, grab what's in plain sight. Most people uh, seem to forget to just, just to hide their items or leave in their trunk. And if it's in plain sight, you could very easily be a target. If it's uh, locked up, out of sight, covered with a blanket, you have a Christmas uh, presents and your electronics and such, uh, at least hidden, uh, you make yourself uh, a harder target and uh, the thieves will move on. Well, I know uh, when you were talking to media, you made a prediction that within the first 10 minutes you'd find someone that had something out. Was your prediction right? Yes, uh, when, when we were at the mall here a couple weeks ago, uh, it only took about two or three minutes to find a purse uh, in plain sight. It was just uh, been so easy for someone to uh, break the window and uh, grab the purse to be gone before anybody knew what was going on. Well, and you touched upon a little bit, and I know it's not necessarily your area that you deal with, but the whole idea now with these phones having a lot of information on it and, and these electronics, just the whole idea of identity theft. And so now it's a real threat. Um, when you talk about that, is it even smart to have that stuff left in a car or left unattended? Should people have that with them or maybe keep it at home? What, what's your thoughts on that? Well, I know everybody has cell phones, sometimes more than one, and you really got to have it with them, or so we're now uh, trained to have that type of stuff with us. But the other electronics, uh, they really need to try to keep it at home. A cell phone uh, now has information on it that any thief like to get, and it's so easy to get now once they have it. Uh, you don't need it to pin numbers or anything. All they have to do is break into the phone there, and they get your uh, personal information. They can get credit card numbers now. And once they have that, it only takes a matter of sh for a short period of time to uh, do what they want to do before you realize something is stolen and before you have the opportunity to shut it down. After you make the report that your cell phone was taken or some other uh, item that holds your personal information, and that's the real problem starts. I've, I've seen in the last two years in the larceny section that uh, people go through pure heck, basically, to one way of putting it, because it's a lot to deal with as far as uh, trying to uh, protect your good name, because even when the police report, the credit card companies, the banks, they're going to treat you like uh, uh, a suspect. You'll be re-victimized, and uh, we see that from time to time, and all they had to do was basically protect themselves better, carry the cell phone with them, uh, do not ever leave in the car, because uh, that's what the thieves are going for. 
You know, um, one of the things that kind of is probably runs through a lot of people's mind is if they are a victim, should they report it? Is it important to report it? What are your thoughts on how a citizen, citizen should handle it if they are a victim? Once you realize that uh, you lost a piece of property, your car was broken into, you need to report it right away. Uh, just stay where, you're, stay where you're at, especially if you're uh, in a parking lot there, call 911 and uh, uh, the police will arrive. Uh, uh, for, for the most part, they'll take the report in the scene there. However, from time to time, uh, you, you may be required or asked to uh, just to get the information over the phone. But we try to make the scene as much as possible to get any evidence that we can get. We, uh, we check uh, the businesses and such uh, for any evidence like video and such that may help us uh, uh, solve the crime. But yes, every time you do lose something, uh, we do have a, like to have it reported because a lot of times uh, we do come across it uh, uh, on, on an unrelated case, like a car stop, an officer may make a week later and they may find something in the car that, know, that we know don't belong to them and we need a way to be able to track it back to the victim. And with a police report on file, we have serial numbers uh, in the system, we can uh, get your property back for you. You know, you, you mentioned serial numbers. Do you find that when you do have a lot of victims of theft that they can easily produce serial numbers or other, you know, distinctive marks that can help identify their property? Or, or a lot of times are, are these situations kind of we don't know who the property belongs to? One of the frustrating things when we do take reports are that uh, citizens uh, do not have serial numbers recorded anywhere. We can take the report of an electronic stolen, we can get the description, maybe, maybe even a model number, but without a serial number, you cannot make a positive ID and get the property returned. I suggest that uh, when you make the purchases uh, this, this, uh, this holiday season and uh, any other stuff you have in the house there, record the serial numbers and keep that in a safe, in a safe place. Well, certainly uh, with the, the phones on the, on the, or cameras on the phones, it sure, you could take a picture, but make sure you take them off the phone in case your phone gets stolen, right? <laughs> Good point. Uh, well, um, shopping safety, um, when shoppers are out there, uh, they're distracted. Um, any tips for those folks that are, are shopping and just maybe uh, safety tips that we can give them? Well, the best safety tip is uh, uh, not to leave anything in the car. But unfortunately, that's going to be uh, next to impossible to do because uh, you're, in the sh you're actually out there shopping and you're getting a lot of material together. Lock it in the trunk. Uh, that's your best bet. If, if you're unable to do that, uh, uh, cover it up uh, with a blanket or something. The main thing is just keep it out of sight because most of these will move on to an easier target. Uh, but if you have it in plain sight, uh, and if you leave your purse or your billfold or your cell phone in plain sight, and if someone's in the area, they're going to get it. But So the best way to protect yourself is to cover it up, lock it up in the trunk, or just go straight home from there. Okay. Well, I appreciate you taking some time to just spend with us talking a little bit about uh, the efforts. Sure. I know we've got the mounted unit that's been out there uh, doing extra patrols out there. I know you guys have also taken uh, the time to put some and work with Public Works to put some signs up, just reminding people to, to lock things up. So you know, appreciate everything that the, the larceny section and you guys are doing to try to help uh, educate citizens. and. Glad you could join us on this edition of Behind the Badge. And remember, we want you to have a safe holiday season. We don't want you to be a victim. But if you are a victim, call 911 and let us know so that we can come help you. Thanks and have a great holiday.